Hi, Rumblers. Actually, we're here with Ken Elkison and Dave Eggleston for Norseman Heavy Duty Repair. And uh, we actually came up here, Rumble came up here to do the interview for the International Radical Rod Build-Off of 2017 that's leading to Sin City. Ken Eggleston and Dave, how are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Good, are you? All right. So we catch us here in Red Deer, Red Deer, Canada. And I'm kind of lost now. I've been tra traveling all over the place. But, you know, you guys picked me up last night and it was great you know, coming over here. Seeing your facility, see what you guys do, and then we have this beautiful machine behind us. So, in a short story, Ken, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name's Ken Eggleston. I was uh, born and raised here in Alberta. Um, 34. I'm a heavy duty mechanic by trade. Been a journeyman for about 11 years, but I've been pulling on wrenches since I was a little kid in my dad's garage. Mm -hmm. So, he's always had some sort of project, and then over the past dozen years or so, we've uh, branched more and more into the hot rod muscle car rat rod scene so um you're just following dad's footsteps then pretty much then right yeah you know i mean it's a it's kind of a family love affair with mechanics for some reason i got two uncles uh -huh. two uncles my dad are, are mechanics i got a cousin that's a heavy duty mechanic and yeah. i'm i'm a mechanic so it's pretty much runs through our, our family i think yeah and dave now where where were you from you, you weren't originally from here you said you were no, from the west <clears throat> I was actually born in Calgary here in Alberta, but uh, I was raised in Langley, BC. Okay. On the west coast, just outside of Vancouver, and uh, um, involved in, uh, in mechanical trade basically my whole life since I was a kid. So I've uh, worked as an automotive and heavy duty mechanic for nearly 40 years. So. Okay. It's been a while then, yeah. It's been a little while then. Yeah. And then when you guys, how long have you been here at this facility? This facility for nine years. For nine years? And you guys started turning rinses as far as hot rods here as well. You know, you guys have been doing little things here and there. Yeah, yeah we started actually hot rodding uh, in our second shop. We've been in business 13 years together. Mm -hmm. So uh, we built his 82 Chevy pickup in, uh, in our second shop. That we had together. I'm from the firm belief that I don't like anything stock. I mean, it just, it's boring. It's, okay. they're, All right. they're, they're a dime a dozen, they're cookie cutter. And the traditional hot rod guys kind of bother me because, you know what, at some point in the 40s or the 50s, somebody took a 32 forward and cut it apart, and ripped the fenders off it, and made it lighter and faster. Yeah. And for somebody to come up with something and think out of, outside of the box, those guys should have more respect for us than anything else because it's not something that's, you know, how many guys have a 32 Ford out there? There's more 32 Fords out there on the planet right now than were ever produced by Ford because you have all these guys producing fiberglass bodies and steel bodies. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a cookie cutter car to me. It's, it's, you might as well go to GM and buy a Corvette. Okay. You know, whereas this actually takes ingenuity and you know, craftsmanship to build.
and myself and, uh, and one of Dave's good friends come up with the concept of, of making kind of a sister truck or a brother truck, a big brother truck to his other 41. Okay. So he already has a 41 Chevy pickup rat rod with a, a 3 to 3 stroker. Um, so we kind of wanted to make something that would be his older brother or something that is even more sinister. So it's a 41 Chevy pickup with a 6 inch chop and uh, all custom frame and it's built to look really cartoon like uh, 5.9 Cummins. Uh, we're not sure of the, drop, the transmission we're going to run yet. Mm -hmm. um, and we're not sure of uh, if we're running a compound turbo system or not. The frame was built and with mostly Dave and his, and his friend. My best friend from, uh, from grade school and high school that grew up with in Langley, Duck Benning, has hobo hot rods in Langley. Okay. And he builds all of our chassis. He does the chassis work okay. with, our, with our input. And, uh, Doug and I were sitting around and as Ken said, we were kind of thinking about a a big brother to the other truck, sure. and cartoon look, and and I said I'd like to use a six cylinder, and then uh, and the conversation went to well, we should use a diesel, and then and Doug was looking online and we saw a bunch of other states that were running with dually, you know, dually rat rod, so yep. then, and that kind of got incorporated, and then we kind of let Doug go a little bit, just go a little bit wild with it, okay. with his own imagination, and okay. uh, but for ride for ride height and suspension and stuff, what we do is we pretty much go out there and draw it on paper with two sticks and then we take the body and set it on the ground with some blocks of wood okay. then we just start taking measurements and drawing it and and Doug kind of whips up his magic and you go out there and give him a hand and then okay. All right. so how many hours he has personally into it I don't know um, there's probably only about 120 maybe 150 hours into this build at this point Okay. I expect, I would expect that this build is going to be somewhere in the 1,000 hour, 1,000 mm -hmm. to 1,200 hour range. These guys are back and forth, you know, getting busy on it. So see you soon, see you down there in November. We'll be coming back again with a video for you guys to show you more of the build. All right. So give a sponsor uh, a shout out to our sponsors, Kelly Moss Road and Race out of Madison, Wisconsin. And to remember Lizard Skin we have. So uh, please follow along and then well, of course with your local ones. And then another shout out to, to uh, Doug Binning with Hobo Hot Rods, okay. his chassis and, uh, and Greg Williamson for his, uh, his friendship and input as well. Right. Um, yeah, this, I, don't think, I don't think there's any one of these rat rods that could get built out there with just one person's input yeah. or one person's vision. I think it, it <laughs> takes a whole team to collaborate to make something cool. And, I'm just lucky enough to have lots of people on my team, so. Okay. Well, good luck to you guys, okay? And, and uh, Canada and everything. So great. All right, appreciate it.